Hey everyone, Jangro here. Welcome back to the channel and our series on setting up a Minecraft server. Today we're diving into an essential topic for Minecraft server admins, protecting your spawn area with WorldGuard. If you're running a community server, you know how important it is to keep your spawn safe from griefing and unwanted changes. We'll cover installation and setting up a spawn area with some, with some protections against griefing and building and some other important things like preventing mob spawning. Looking at you guys. So stick around. Now in this video, I'm running my server on my desktop, which is great for testing. But for the best performance and security, your best bet is a hosted Minecraft server. If you're looking to set up your own server, Apex Hosting makes it incredibly easy. You can have your server up and running in less than five minutes. They offer one-click installations for mod packs and plugins, including WorldGuard. Whether you're hosting for a small group of friends or a large community, Apex has plans to fit your needs. And if you want to check them out and support the channel, please use my link, jangrelacom slash Apex. Now let's get back to WorldGuard. Okay, let's take a quick look at installing WorldGuard, which is available from EngineHub at enginehub.org. And, and I'm on Minecraft 1.21, so I need to use the latest dev versions. And that's why I want to go into a little more detail here. WorldGuard is here available on EngineHub, and it requires WorldEdit to run. It uses some WorldEdit stuff like the selection functionality. So we're going to get WorldEdit as part of the package here. So if we click on that WorldGuard link, we'll end up here on the WorldGuard page, and you can list downloads. And for Bucket, I just you want to use use the experimental builds. We have the latest one, which is 7.0. something, and I'm going to get this 7.0.11 snapshot. So we'll download that. Same with world edit. As so I'm using paper here, I need to get the bucket version and same thing. Experimental builds. Wow, three hours ago. Let's give that a shot. We drag those two files into our plugins folder on our server and start it up. I'll see you back in the world. So what exactly is WorldGuard? Why is it important? It's a powerful plugin that allows you to create protected regions in your Minecraft world. These regions can have custom rules or what WorldGuard calls flags that control what players can and can't do within them. It can be very broad or it can be very specific and allow very specific things. And we'll show both of those things while we protect our spawn area here. And for a community server, this is crucial. It allows you to prevent griefing in important areas. Can't have people messing with my shop over there. You can customize gameplay in different regions of the world and maintain the integrity of key areas like spawn here, some shopping districts or protecting community builds. All right, so let's protect our spawn area. The first thing we wanna do is get the wand slash slash wand command. And this is world edit here, this use of the ax for selecting, which we installed. And I just need to select two corners of my spawn area. So I'm going to go way over here. And it doesn't matter the height because we're going to go to world height and bedrock. So I'm just gonna go outside here a little bit and select that block right there. And then way over here and select, oh, I have nothing to click on. So I'm going to use the position two command, POS two, to select the second position. And in order to protect the entire area from bedrock to world height, I just need to expand the selection, expand vert, and the whole region is expanded. So now with my selection in place, I can do region. I can also just do RG as a shortcut. We do region, define, spawn. This region is now protected from modification from others. You can use this region flag spawn pass through flag to allow people to modify things and eliminate that build protection that is set by default. I'm operator, so I need to D up myself quickly. Now, and I can't, I can't modify any of these things. I can't break my fountain, thankfully. But if we go out here, just outside this area, there we go, here's the line. Pretty cool, huh? And that's it. This region is now protected from everybody on the server except the operator. Now we can add groups of users and allow specific groups to have pass through permissions for building so that they can work on our spawn area. Clearly, I need that since I am not the best builder. Now we can add even more protections to our spawn area with some different flags. Let's prevent PvP and mob spawning. So, with the, I need to opt myself, be right back. Now with the region flag command, we can set all kinds of flags that allow us to set very granular protections or allow certain things in our spawn area. 
So with the flag command, we do flag spawn, which is the name of the region, PVP deny. Now PVP is not allowed in the spawn area. Alternatively, we could set the whole server up for no PVP and then just create PVP allowed areas and have like a fighting arena or something like that on our server. And if we also do the region flag spawn mob spawning deny. This will prevent mobs from being spawned inside this area. If I try the spawn mob command, we try to spawn a zombie or a zoglin. Didn't work. See that? Go over here and try it again. There he is, a zoglin. So we can protect the spawn area and it doesn't allow certain things like mob spawning. There's all kinds of flags you can use. If you run the region flags and the region name, it gives you an interface so you can see what things are already set and we can toggle them right in here in this interface, which is really cool. There's a lot of granularity. Like we could disallow item drops, all kinds of things. You can scroll through this list and see what they are. And the documentation, which I'll link to in the description, has a full description of what all these things do. They're mostly pretty self-explanatory. You can also like have a, a region that heals you and things like that. So you can make a hospital that will heal you if you go into it. All right, let's de-op myself again and look at one of the side effects of what we've done here. Now I am at the default permissions level. Recall that we have luck perms on here. So I have minimal access to the server. So I still cannot break stuff but in my shop here. I also can't interact with things. I can't use items. Not only can I not use things like trap doors, but I also can't use my signs from essentials. And there's not even an error for that one. And there are two ways to fix this. One is with World Guard, and I have to re opt myself here, be right back. And if we use the region flags spawn, which is the name of the region, we get this interface again. This use flag allows everybody and anybody to use things inside a region. So now I'm now de opt again. Now I can use these things. I can open chests. Oh, I cannot open chests. Is that a different permission? Let's see. Aha, chest access. Click to allow. So we've allowed use and chest access now. Yeah, myself. Now I can use trapdoors and I can open chests. That's kind of a heavy handed way to do it. Let's look at the essentials way of doing it. Let's reverse these things first. And now I am in the, you can see here, I'm in the default group, which is the lowest group of luck perms on my server. And let's give everybody access to, because I'm in the, in the default group, so we can demonstrate this. Let's give everybody on the server just access to signs, but we'll leave all the other use permissions off. To do that, we will use the luck perms command group default group mission that essentials dot signs use. We can actually go right down to the very individual sign level here, but we're going to do use dot star, which will allow us to use all of these true. I don't think I need true on here. Doesn't hurt. Now, if we look at the group default mission info, we can see that essentials dot signs dot use dot star is set. Now, if I de up myself, I cannot use trap doors or open chests, but I can use the signs. Pretty cool. I prefer the second method since it is more specific and therefore more secure. And there you have it. We've now protected our spawn area with World Guard. We added some custom flags and we fixed essential signs. Remember, World Guard is incredibly powerful and flexible. And what we've covered today is just the tip of the iceberg. You can do so much with it for your server. And I think that'll do it. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more Minecraft server tutorials. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Or drop into my Discord, discord.gg slash And until next time, thanks for watching. I appreciate you.